hey, I'm Ting and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a roundup vlog for you. So for the last few weeks in and around blogging, working and general life admin stuff that's not a lot of fun, I managed to squeeze in a few events around Birmingham. I went along to the Pinterest workshop at Faisley Studios and Lizzie Sibley from the Pinterest UK team came along and gave us an interesting presentation which actually changed my view on Pinterest and how I can better use it for my blog. So if you're interested in a blog post on this then do let me know. And then I went along to the Harris Gibbs Hair Salon launch party where I caught up with a few Birmingham bloggers. I enjoyed one or two blueberry mojitos, avoided the shocks of course, um, and devoured the food from award winning last. And we also got to watch some hair demonstrations by the team. That's Selena from Selena Gel Baby getting her hair done. She ended up with fantastic, gorgeous, glamorous waves. And we all got a chance to have our hair assessed and were given little treatment pots that we could take away to try ourselves at home, all tailored to our own hair concerns, which was great. And then I may have ended up having a few cocktails at the bureau bar with Laura, Olive and Emily J. And then later that week, I ended up at the Jam House for their monthly salsa dancing class, which I went to with Tanya from When Tanya Talks and Chloe from the Flying Fox blog. And despite having tried salsa classes many years ago, I still don't appear to have found my rhythm. But it was good fun and Chloe, Tanya and I had a laugh giving it a go. I also managed to squeeze in a quick visit to my family in Devon, which centred around walking the dog and eating plenty of food. Before making a return visit to Harris Gibbs Hair when I was back in Birmingham. And because I was heading to an event that evening, we settled on a glamorous hairdo full of volume and lots of big curls. The barbecue itself was held in the back garden at the Highfield with the most adorable little marquee which helped to shelter us from the British drizzle. And I was really pleased to spend the evening with Helen, Ed and Olive enjoying all the delicious food and the Prosecco Sangria of course which was absolutely delicious. And the Highfield did really well on the food with not a single burger or sausage in sight. Everything was freshly prepared, there were loads of lovely salads to enjoy and they actually did all their homemade marinades for their fish and their meat with plenty of booze involved. Not forgetting dessert of course with delicious dip your own strawberries, a gorgeous Eaton mess and a yummy cheesecake for a final dash in the drizzle to catch an Uber home. And then finally I was invited to the Mockingbird launch party. And after all of those celebratory drinks down at the Mockingbird, we headed off for an emergency Wagamama and ordered far too much food. To avoid any waste, I ended up taking my meal home in a takeaway box. But it certainly made for a great working lunch the next day. That's it for 
for my roundup vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to for the last couple of weeks. It was an unusually packed fortnight, it has to be said. I don't normally have this many events to go to, but it was really nice to see so many lovely bloggers and vloggers from Birmingham out and about. And um, I hope to see you again soon.